What's going on guys? It's that time of the month again. It is now time for my video game pickup video for the month of February 2020. Now, this month we had quite a few pickups, uh, quite a few games I'm excited to eventually get to play. And without further ado, I mean we're going back modern consoles and retro consoles here. So let's get into this. First off, for the Nintendo GameCube. I picked up Baton Kaitos Origins. Now I played the original Baton Kaitos and this series I think needs to fully be revived. Baton Kaitos and it looks like Origins as well plays with this really interesting card based combat system and it's a very colorful RPG. Um, Origins is produced by Nintendo. It was originally I think published by Namco and I picked this one up for a really good price. The price of this is going up so I figured I'd get it while I could. Um, and I've been kind of keeping my eye on that one for a little while now. So I also picked up a Wii U game that, uh, surprise, surprise, is getting a remaster. And the price of the original I've seen kind of, um, pop up a little bit in recent times. And that is The Wonderful 101. Now this is a Platinum Games game where it almost uh, looks a little bit like Pikmin to me. I haven't played it. I've seen video of it, but I got this brand new sealed and I'm looking forward to playing this also. Now, one of the big games I also picked up this month um, is quite a few games in that matter. And we picked up the Yakuza Remastered Collection. Now, this game is a remaster or an HD remaster of Yakuza 3, 4, and 5. And it also comes with a PlayStation 3 box for Yakuza 5, which I'm not really sure why they included this as a pre-order bonus or just as a bonus in general. Um, but it is kind of cool. I believe Yakuza 5 was only physically released on the PlayStation Network here in America. Um, so it's, it's nice to have these. So then, I wanted to get an imported Sega Saturn game. And there was a game that I've wanted for a while now. For some reason, the price on this used to be really high. It's kind of dropped recently. And that is the game Paradise. Now, this is called something else um it like has a um full name that i believe is like genku something but the game paradise um i've seen videos of for a while it is like a, a parody of like a, a shoot 'em up game and having a saturn that can play imported games this one definitely i think was worth the pickup and i'm looking forward for this one as well now we're gonna go into two modern games i picked up before we go into some um, games I'm really excited to talk about. So first off, I picked up Persona 3 Dancing in the Moonlight. Now this is a part of the Persona 3, um, or the Persona uh, Dancing spin-off games. And what I noticed is I ordered this off Amazon, and the first thing I noticed about it was it didn't have an ESRB rating to it, and it just said English version. And then on the side, it didn't have like um, a regular like PlayStation identification code on the side. And I had to actually look at that and apparently Amazon sent me the Asian English release that's not actually an American release but it's an Asian version with English um, voice acting and whatnot which is is kind of cool I think it's kind of different at least to have this in the collection um, and yeah it's Persona dancing game it's rhythm based it's gonna be fun especially because Persona 3 has a really good soundtrack for that matter and then I picked up the Mega Man Zero ZX Collection. Now, I only dabbled in the Mega Man Zero games on the Game Boy Advance back in the day. And I never played anything from ZX. But me being uh, the Mega Man fan I am, I mean, on the Game Boy Advance Battle Network was where it was at for me. Um, I'm looking forward to playing these. And I decided to pick it up on the Switch only because the original games were on Nintendo console. So I figured I had to pick it up for a Nintendo console. Now, there's six games in there, 0, 1 through 4, and the two ZX games. I'm not really sure what the stories are about. Never really dabbled into it that much, as I mentioned. Um, and that's going to be fun down the line as well. So, I picked up two extremely prestigious PlayStation RPGs here. The first one I picked up was Grandia. Now, I played Grandia 2 for the Dreamcast, and I always wanted to play the original one because I've heard so many good things about the original one. To my knowledge, the Sega Saturn version is the definitive version of this game. However, it was never released here in America. And uh, the PlayStation version, aside from the remakes or remasters that we got recently on modern consoles, 
is the only English way to play the original on the generation that it came out on. It is a two disc game. I always love these big box, well not big box, but these wide jewel cases. Um, Cause you always feel like there's so much in here. And with these RPGs, they usually pack in like a nice thick manual. And sometimes they have like some extra goodies, but this one just two disc, looking forward to it. But my last pick up here is a game that I've wanted to get my hands on and it's sequel, uh, which is evading me for now, for a little while now, because I'm a big fan of this RPG series and I'm a big fan of playing the original ones of these. And this game, these series to me, always play like just a real good like game anime. What game am I talking about here? Well, this one was the priciest one of the bunch this month. And that's Tales of Destiny. I picked up the original Tales of Destiny, as you can see here. This is a one-disc game in a double case, and why? Well, I'm not really sure. Aside from the fact that it does have a really, really thick manual. Um, but aside from that, I don't know why they couldn't have put this in a single case. But that's fine. The game looks awesome. Um, I can't wait to play this. Tales of Destiny is a game, and Tales of Destiny 2 is a game that they're getting up there in price, guys. And if you could pick these up for a decent price now, I definitely think it's worth it. Uh, especially me being such a fan of the Tales of series. I'm working on getting all the other ones in the collection. Little by little, I'm not actually that far away. I think I just got to get uh, Tales of Destiny 2. And I don't really remember what else was released here in America that I don't have, aside from Tales of Rebirth. Um, but for what it's worth, guys, we added two, four, six, eight games to the collection this month across all different platforms. I felt like it was worth it to just definitely hit everywhere with these. Um, and we're going to have a fun time going forward. So thank you for watching, guys. Leave your thoughts on any of these game pickups down in the comment section below. As always, thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. I'll catch you later, guys. Game on.